Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and we finally get a new good rank 7. If you're excited about this, drop a like on this video because I don't even know what year it is. It's been so long since rank 7's got a really, really good card. And I think with Donovan Jesse with the new Black Lava Dragon over here, it's going to be a really cool card. Anyways, on top of that, we got new support for, I'd say, like kind of dragon slash wind stuff. And we've got a new card confirmed. We've got a new synchro card. It's going to be V-Jump promo that they're basically hyping up right now. And on top of that, some extra zombie support. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. With the first card that I actually want to take a look at is the new zombie stuff. So anyways, um, this is Ono Moraki. It is going to be, uh, all these, by the way, are V-Jump promo cards. So when we're getting them here, I don't know. Anyways, level 4, Earth Zombie Effect Monster uh, on Moraki. 1200 attack, 1000 defense, and it says you can only use this card's name effect once per turn. The first part of it says if this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, or if it is special summoned from the graveyard, you get to draw one card. So I like that ability. Like, it's like basically, however, it's going away, it's going to get something off of it um, at the end of the day. So, yeah, okay, maybe for rank four plays, it does not be a, a zombie. So bringing this card back out is not going to be a problem at all. Next up, though, we have the Hama no Karasu Tengu, which is a level four earth zombie effect monster with 1400 attack and 1200 defense points. And it says you can only use this card's name effect once per turn. The first part of it says that this card in its owner's possession is destroyed by an opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, or if it is special summoned from the graveyard, you get to target an attack for this monster your opponent controls and destroy it. So, with so many things to reoccur with zombies, this could be okay. I mean, you're able to pop a card or a draw when it gives you some options, and most of these will meet the thresholds for a lot of like the zombie support uh, requirements to go ahead and bring out. So, I think that these are okay, but is it going to be meta changing for zombies as of right now? Uh, it's hard to say, unless you're going to be able to get like some new zombie card that like double summons, like, you know, unless you get like soul charge and like for basically zombies and like no downsides for like a double if zombies get a double reborn this could be pretty good like off of one card to draw one pop one and then go into rank four that would be a lot better who knows what the new newer support may be down the line but next up I mentioned there's new dragon support so armored armed dragon is the name of this guy over here he's got 1900 attack 1400 defense points it's going to be a level four wind dragon effect monster and uh, anyways the first part of it says when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle you can special summon one level five or lower wind dragon monster from your hand or deck except for armored arm dragon but it cannot attack directly this turn okay so i mean like that's cool you can still attack with it it doesn't negate the effects but the main problem is like you gotta summon it and then move to battle phase at the point of 1900 and then hope that like that effect doesn't get negated and you can still attack over something overall realistically against what i would consider the metagame uh, i don't know if this would really like shape up but it might have some potential potential cool combos with something random but again i don't think it, it being like there is going to really change up the game uh anyways next up this is a new uh promo its name is the deep sea uh repet uh, i don't know probably pronounce it wrong anyways uh we don't know the, the um uh the stats on it fully for the effect but it happens to be synchro tuner effect water level five and the blurb it has two effects that support decks based on the water attribute. Oh, thanks. I didn't, of course it's gonna be, it's a deep sea card. Of course it's based on, the, why are they even putting this as a hint? I guess it's gonna work with water. Wow, really? Like you could have at least said like, it works with warrior water. Remember when they said that with the ice bear card? I don't know, they're hyping it up. So basically, if you guys wanna participate, what is the effect? You can guess down below in the comment section below. But what I'm really here for is finally a good rank seven. So here is the artwork on the new uh, Von, Vani Gesh, the black lava dragon. Dragoon. Oh, a new Dragoon card. You know Dragoon card is always good, right? All right, let's check them out. Uh, rank 7, uh, Dark Dragon Seize Effect Monster. 2500 attack, 2100 uh, defense points. Its materials are two level 7 monsters. Once per turn, you attach two materials from this card, then target a face-up card on the field and destroy it. And if you destroy a monster with this effect, you can have one face-up monster you control. Gain 300 attack times the destroyed monster's original level slash rank until the end of the next turn. Uh, this card can attack during the turn you activate this effect. If this card has a dragon monster as it sees material, this effect becomes a quick effect. Okay, so there it is. Because I, I, I know someone mentioned, that, like, dude, you got to check out this card. It's really good. I mean, for rank sevens, when is the last time we got a good, like, quick effect for, like, rank sevens? Um, like, a newer card. It's been so long. Like, still, like, I, I think rank seven, I'm like, Big Eye and Draco Sack, which don't really see too much play. But, like, it's because it's, like, it's not a quick effect. So we finally have a good monster. But the thing is, it requires a dragon. So at this point, are they saying dragon rulers are coming back? I don't know, man. You guys can speculate. Because, like, what other archetype can get out level sevens fast like it's 
unless you're playing some like really weird dragon deck that I'm unaware of. But I don't know, guys. Is this a hint? Let me know down below your thoughts on dragon rulers coming back. Because like again, like unless they come out with a lot more like level seven dragons, like what's the point of this card? What, what are they hyping up to? Like no one gonna be buying this if like the game stays exactly the way it does. So maybe we'll get more dragons. Maybe they'll pick up dragon rulers. I don't know. But I love the artwork on that card too, coming out in Dawn of Majesty. But anyways. That's it for the new Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You guys can let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys got any cool combos or ideas, would love to uh, hear them down below. But anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you're new here and you want to see more new Yu-Gi-Oh cards as soon as they come out, hit subscribe, turn on that bell, and you see more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.